What up, all my fight fans? So, we just had ourselves a fight night. Siragon versus Sergey Spivak. Guys, if you haven't seen it, it just happened. Definitely go check it out. If you have ESPN Plus, it's on there. I'm pretty sure it's probably on YouTube. Definitely go check it out. If you do not want any spoilers, I suggest you change this channel right now in three, two, one. All right, here we go. So, Sergey uh, Spivak, you know, tough challenger, very tough contender, but just wasn't enough for Sirogan. Sirogan went in there, very confident. They're in their home, his hometown of France or Paris, and his home, uh, not hometown, I should say, but his home country of France. And um, <clears throat> and it was a very good victory for him. Very good. You know, he looked really good. He has not fought since his loss, his very unfortunate loss to John Jones. You know, it was just completely one-sided, completely just annihilation, domination. You know, it was just, it was it was over quick. It was over before he even started. Siragon tapped out, we already know. So, Siragon comes in and pretty much puts a beating on Sergei Spivak. Um, looked really, really good doing it. Looked really good doing it. Um, but the question is, how good is Siragon from that loss to John Jones? Why I'm asking you that is because this fight didn't necessarily go to the ground. This was pretty much a stand-up war. We all thought going into this fight that Sergey Spivak knows what kind of Cyril Gaon uh, weaknesses he has and possibly was going to take him to the ground. We all remember the two blown out knees, Francis Nagan was able to take Cyril Gaon with ease, at will, no problem. John Jones pretty much big brothered um, Cyril Gaon, no problem. So Sergey Spivak, we all kind of thought that maybe, just maybe, he was going to be able to take Cyril Gaon to the ground and utilize some of his weaknesses. You, I mean, not utilize Cyril Gaon's weaknesses and utilize some of his advantages, Sergey, and pretty much use some ground game, use some of his ground and pound, maybe go for some submissions and such like that. But he didn't really do that. He kept it on the feet. And Sergey, or excuse me, Cyril Gaon was able to take advantage of that. And in the second round, pretty much got the stoppage. Was pretty much being able to pick him apart at will, no problem, and was able to get him against the cage and land some really clean, heavy shots and got the referee to stop the fight. So... At the end of the day, Cyril Gaon, regardless of whether or not he was he is um, great on the ground, we do not know, wins the fight. Moving on, what's next? Well, he, uh, he has said that there was a heavyweight uh, contender in the audience, and that was Tom Aspinall. Tom Aspinall, um, Aspinall, who is a very, very good heavyweight contender as well, you know, that seems like a very good fight. I do not put Cyril Gunn ready for the um, heavyweight championship of the world, which we already know John Jones versus Stephen Miocic in MSG in November is going to take place. If John Jones wins or uh, Stephen wins, it doesn't seem too. There's not a whole lot of information regarding whether or not these guys are actually going to keep the belt. It definitely sounds like this might be the last fight for both these gentlemen, but we just do not know yet. But with that being said, um, I do not put Cyril Gaon as a normal contender for the winner of that fight. I feel like he needs a couple of more. And I do definitely feel like he needs quite possibly a wrestler, you know, to really test him. Because I've been hearing that he's been really, really focused on his wrestling. I do hear that he's been training a lot of wrestling. Because, we, again, we know that's his weakness. That's one of his weak spots. That's one of his kryptonites. So, moving forward... I would really love to see someone test his ground game because I do feel Cyril Gaon has the potential of being a really, really great fighter. If he were able to get a hold of that wrestling, if he were able to be like somewhere like a um, close to a Habib or Daniel Cormier when it comes to wrestling, with his striking ability, he could be very unstoppable. Very unstoppable, but right now at the time, I don't see it happening. And he needs a couple more fights before he's ready to cha challenge for that heavyweight strap once again. And with the contender that I have in mind, of course, you got Tom Aspinall. Of course, you also got Curtis Blades, who was probably the best wrestler outside of um, John Jones in the division. So, yeah, there's a few other contenders that Cyril Gaon could take on. So, guys, let me know in the comments on who do you think Cyril Gaon should take on next. How far do you think he is going to be ready for another heavyweight championship title shot? Let me know, guys, in the comments. Like, subscribe, hit that notification button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.